Now, as the situation remains tense, in the violence-hit state of Manipur, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh spoke exclusively to CNN News 18 after high-voltage drama in Imphal over his resignation. Biren Singh alleged international conspiracy in the violence in the state. Let's listen in on what he had to say. Manipur is not well. Manipur is not coming back to normalcy and the state and the central government, they're trying, but still Manipur is not okay. We have with us uh, Manipur's chief minister, N. Biren Singh, for the last two months. It's been very tough and hectic for him too. Uh, sir, I would not welcome because it's tough time for you, uh, I know. Uh, sir, first question, uh, everybody wants to know from you, what really happened yesterday? Why did you want to, why did you want to resign? During this last two months, uh, with the guidance of the Honorable Union Home Minister, Ms. Haji and the other central leaders, uh, we are doing our best in the state of Manipur. Even, you know, this was suddenly created issues because nobody were aware of it, particularly the governments and we the peoples. But some elements have intentionally done it and in the name of the rallies, you know better. So we have rally because easily we have solidarity rally because we accept it. But it has turned into like such a serious problem, and many people has been uh, so, uh, killed, and you know the houses has been burned. Many people has been displaced. It's very, very, very sad. Uh, in the last six months, uh, six years, you know, with the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, Manipur is becoming one of the fastest developing state in the entire Northeast, and I can say it in the entire India. And we were achieving many fast, 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 fast in many fields. And you know, this time also, in the last beginning, first year, what we have done, what we have done for the people of the state with the guidance of the, under the able leadership of the PM, not Modi, Narendra Modi ji. But suddenly it has come. So after coming, uh, happening this very sad incident, we were trying our best to bring back normalcy. Honorable Union Home Minister, Amit Shahji, like leader, stayed here three days continuously, three nights. And you know, the uh, Nitaendra ji died, Union Home Minister, he sat here more than 20 days. Samit Patraji, Prabhari ji, he sat here more than 20 days. And you know, the center has brought around 40,000 uh, security personnel and uh, deployed in the vulnerable areas. Immediate for the immediate reliefs, around 100 crores has been sanctioned by the Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji. And uh, you know the thirty thousand metric ton of rice has been given. No, I'm mentioning why you know so many things. And here in the state, and here in the state also, we all the ministers and MLA together, along with the party uh, workers and other civil society, we are doing our best day and night, evacuating the uh, peoples from the uh, difficult areas to the separate places, keeping them uh, relief materials, medic, everything. But in spite of that, uh, recently some development was there uh, that attacking on uh, some of the BJP uh, party office in some mm. uh, small, uh, in two, three area. Minister's and, uh, what, yeah, and what is the most shocking part was to me, uh, even uh, there's some peoples in some particular constituency uh, where the Congress uh, uh, MLAs uh, won, to started burning off effigies of 
uh, honorable prime minister and you know the the, the union home minister amit shahji who stayed here three night conti- uh, consecutively continuously to surveillance the to support the area uh, the, the situation so isme mere ko i was feeling bad ki ye kya ho raha hai people still uh want to continue and uh, to work with them so i said okay i'll continue and i'll do as per your reason because people is the uh, public is the god no you know in a democratic setup 